Hey y'all, it's Spiritual Life Coach 43 and I am here to do the monthly reading for the sign of Gemini. I have made it to the air signs. Welcome if you're new to my channel and blessings. If you're one of my new subscribers, watchers, viewers, God bless you. Thank you for being here with me. If you're one of my returning, thank you for being here with me and coming back. I appreciate you so much. I am doing the monthly reading for the month of August for Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. Okay, so if you are interested in a tarot card reading or life coaching session as I'm a life coach and a tarot card reader, please read the description box below to email me about that information and we can do that. I am available. There are slots left. Okay. If you are here for the first time, just know this is a very uplifting channel. I use my, this is my Oceanic Tarot deck. This is my baby right here. This is my main deck. But in this reading, I will use this deck. I will do the Celtic cross. And I already have your pre-messages out. Usually I shuffle them on camera but I decided to pick them out this time. It's just a little bit easier on my hands because I do readings a lot and it's just easier on my hands and it just felt right. So I'm kind of switching up a few things. Please don't get hung up on genders as we invite everybody. This is tarot. So it's all about energy. So if something resonates a little bit differently, take it how it resonates for you. Okay. Please don't get hung up on reversals. I don't read them. I may in the future. I do notice them though. Okay. And I am just happy to be here. I'm happy doing this for you. I'm trying to think if there's any other announcements. Oh yeah, I do have something special coming for you all this month. I don't know when. We'll see what happens, but it, hopefully it's, it's it gets done on time and it's really cool too. So I hope you like it. I think you will. It's a surprise. So yeah, if this video resonates with you, if you like it, if you enjoy it, please like, share, subscribe, and send me a comment. I'm getting some amazing feedback. You all are awesome. I have not done live coaching sessions, you know, the live ones, or not live, I haven't done live yet, but I mean the ones that are recorded and posted. I have not done one today, and I didn't do one last week. Last week, it was Friday, it was my birthday, so I didn't do one for July the 31st but and I didn't do one today but I will as it comes I haven't really been inclined to I feel like spirit wants me to focus on getting out these monthly messages I feel like these have more weight okay so Gemini that's enough me talking let's begin all the cards have been prayed and meditated on I will cut them in front of you messages for the sign of Gemini for the month of August year 2020 so this represents you what's helping you or crossing you what you can expect that's best from the situation or what you know yeah what's best from the situation this is four so if you had a question or you have one now hold that thought okay I will come back to it this will be your answer okay what's next for you is five or what's happening in your future the past is six and this could also be fears seven is how you see yourself or the action that you could take. Eight represents what's happening in your environment with people around you. Could be work related. It could involve your family, friends, your friendship circle. Could just whatever your environment is. Nine represents hopes and or fears. Ten is the outcome. The overall message here is the wheel of fortune. I love it. Love this for you, Gemini. Okay, so Spirit's asking you to go with the flow of things. Okay, you have fortune and luck on your side. This is a 10, okay, which means you learned a lot of lessons. It's a major arcana. So basically, Spirit is saying, Gemini, that you're being called to call up on your spirit guides, call up on God, pray more. You certainly need to meditate. Be specific and clear in your prayers. Know that your angels are around you. So a lot of you may feel that energy. You're destined for luck and success. 
So basically, good things are coming to you. So if you have been worried about a job position or if something was going to be successful, like a move or a project, you know, going the right way, it's going to. Okay, so just go with the flow of things. Let fate take its course. You're destined for good things to come to you. This is amazing. I love seeing the Wheel of Fortune. So listen, I would never advocate for anybody spending their rent money on lottery tickets, but I would say this, Gemini, play the lotto, okay? I, you know, if there's some type of like, maybe your job is doing a lotto pool or lottery pool, go ahead and put that $2 in. You know, it's okay to have one ticket or two here and there. Do not spend, you know, major money that is going to be life-changing on just lottery. But with luck and fortune on your side and being destined for fate, things going in your favor, blessings coming in, I would say take a little chance, okay? A little chance could be a big change. And you're destined for this. This is amazing. I love it. And you're spiritually developing as well. And this is a good time to pray more. I know, you know, with so much going on in the world, it's hard to get to a church because a lot of them are closed and we're being safe. So what you can do is stream live at home, look at YouTube for pastors and different priests, for different um, reverends or um, gospel music, spiritual uplifting Christian music or whatever it is that you listen to or would normally listen to. Okay, so, you know, look look up whatever the genre fits best for you, but get the word, okay? The word of God is most important. Let's listen to the Bible or read it or both, have it read out loud. You can find a text-to-speech program or something like that online, okay? So what represents you right now, Jim and I, is... Queen of the ocean. Okay, so already your reading is outstanding and we've just barely started. So congratulations to you. A lot of you are being viewed as very beautiful. You're shining. You're gorgeous. You're amazing. Gemini, you are abundant and you are pregnant in many ways. So some of you are pregnant right now. Congratulations. Some of you are trying and I see that being very something something very much that you want okay so I'm seeing that this is going to come to fruition for you so a lot of you are expecting you will be expecting for those who do not plan to have kids at this time or are done or cannot you're pregnant with ideas you are pregnant in a way where things are really going to work out okay so if you have been planning to start a business or if you are being asked for your input, please give advice to others because you're going to help them to achieve their success. Okay, you're going to help them build and elevate is what I'm hearing. So go for it, Gemini, because things are going to come out well for you. I see you going on dates. I feel like you are the ideal partner. You're the queen of queens, you're the queen of my ocean. You're very nurturing. You're loving. Kids love being around you. You know how to make them smile and laugh. You are a teacher. You teach without even trying, without realizing what you're doing. It's natural for you. And some of you are actual teachers. So you are going to build a beautiful family structure. You're here to help your spouse to be a better person. Whatever they're doing to advance their money, you're going to only add and increase that. Like you complement the deal. So that is amazing, Gemini. And then you do it with finesse. You're beautiful. I see some celebrations coming. You're abundant, which means things come to you and they're going to. A lot of ideas at this time. Write them down, okay, and go for it. What's helping you and crossing you, Gemini, is the two of wands. I'm not surprised to see this. This reminds me of twin flame energy. You will be working with people who think like you. So like-minded souls, like-minded people. And yes, it is going to be successful because you both have the same goals. You're goal-oriented and you have a desire for making it big, doing something that is on a grand level, doing next level things with somebody who's equally yoked. For a lot of you, this is your twin flame soulmate or soulmate or your divine masculine, divine feminine. This is your person. This is your partner. And believe me, you will know this. You will have the signs. So a lot of you will be seeing 1111 or you already are because you are spiritually developing is what it means. And you're coming into union with your soulmate. 
your twin flame for a lot of you. Most of you, it will be twin flame energy. This is amazing. You will share the same visions. You will dream each other. You will dream about what you're supposed to do on the job or how to build the business. Things are going to be amazing for you. You're going to work with people who are like you, but yet you're still individual. So you still bring something different and unique to the table. That's awesome. I love that. Two of Wands. That is soulmate energy. The best that you can expect from this situation is the Five of Wands. So people will be competing for you. And I feel like this is for your love. People may even be competing for your job position. So when you're writing an email or you're sending a text or you're verbally having a conversation with somebody, make sure you're very clear. Make sure you are to the point. Make sure you get your point across and don't take all day to get there. You know what I mean? Because you don't want your words to be misconstrued. You don't want anybody confused. You don't want to give anybody ammunition to switch up your words or put words into your mouth or twist you up. Okay? So in written works, memos, emails, like I said, text messages, written letters, anything that you have to type or write, be crystal clear because somebody is envious and jealous of you because they're seeing your light. They're seeing people being very magnetically attracted to you. So Gemini, be very careful with this energy, okay? This is somebody who don't want to see you win. I always say nobody's in competition with anybody except for yourself to be the best person that you could be. But of course, there's job competitions. There's competitions for runners. There's competitions for swimmers. There are dance competitions where somebody is, you know, trying to be the best company or group or dance company or whatever it is. So whatever you're doing, just know other people, they want the same role. They want the same position. I feel like it's yours though, and they know it. So you are the one they're all, they all feel like you're the competitor. You're the one to be. You're the one that they have to, to win over. You're the one that they have to be better than or one up. Be yourself, Gemini, because I don't see any competition. I see you winning. You're standing as the queen of the ocean. That is the empress. Okay. That means you're in charge. That means even a queen, the empress is a queen. She's the queen of the queens. Even a queen is looking at you like, oh my goodness, how do I beat you? How do I win over this person? This person represents all of us in one. So do you, <laughs> do you Gemini? Okay, Gemini, if you had a question, I'm at number four. This is your answer. So take it how it resonates for you. You have the sun. This is like, yes, with an exclamation mark. Are you kidding me? So far, I think you're the only sign where the sun has even come out. I don't know if it's come up in the other signs, but it has certainly not come up in this position that I can remember, that I can recall. This is amazing. This is happiness. You're about to achieve like replenishing your body, having a home life that's stable and successful, not just a house, but a home, something that's warm and comfortable and inviting, something that's harmonious and peaceful. Children laughing and playing, people being safe, remembering to rest, enjoy the sun as much as you can, safely, of course, respectfully, following rules and regulations. People want to be around you. Make sure you're balancing by getting your rest. Some of you will take a trip, and this is for adventures, what I'm hearing. You're about to have so much fun, Gemini, and it's time you deserve it. So you could be celebrating, you know, a win is what I'm seeing coming. This is the sun. This is the happiest card in the deck. Be happy. Be carefree. Love yourself. Love God. Love the kids and the children around you. Love your family. People may want to spend time with you. I love it. Love it. Oh my gosh. If you need it, any confirmation, that's a yes. That's like a thousand yeses. Okay. What's next for you, Gemini, or in the near future, is the King of Pentacles. I see an offer coming for you, Gemini. Somebody is coming in, and I feel like they want to give you some money. This person wants to give you their heart. 
This person is going to be very loving and devoted, very loyal, somebody you can finally trust. You can, you can finally say this person is trustworthy. They're dependable. Okay. This person believes in protecting family, protecting the job, and they're very helpful. This person helps the next person. Okay. And this is what you want. I feel like a lot of you want somebody who you can work with and build with. This is that person. They will have the qualities of a builder and a helper. They believe in making choices and helping the next person to prosper. They, their choices involve helping others up the ladder. They don't just make it to the top and run. They make it to the top and then they reach back for the next. They're reaching back for you. They're here to help you. And I see financial help is here for you. So Gemini, that looks amazing. And this is the person you could take home to mom and dad. This will be a great father figure. This person is great with finances. They stand in a high position when it comes to work and employment. They could be like a boss or um, they have a really, they're solid when it comes to their money. Like they spend wisely. They make good choices with finances. Beautiful. What's in the past or fear is the nine of wands. So some of you fear like your defenses may be up and you may not be ready for this person's help or letting love in. Or in the past, you had to guard your heart and put those walls up because maybe somebody mis misled you is what I'm hearing. So I feel like you can let those walls down because you're moving straight to your happy place, to happiness and peace and joy. You're going to have a joyous time. Let somebody love you. If this is what you want. Now, we all have free will. So do what you feel is best for you. But it tells me that you really had to protect yourself. And it's interesting that the King of Pentacles is coming in for you because that person will protect you. You'll finally get somebody who has your back. And this doesn't have to be just romantic. I see that it's romantic for a lot of you, especially with the two wands being here and you being the Empress. King and a queen. They're facing each other. They look each other in the eye. They're honest with each other. Your defenses can come down. Don't fear what's coming in. But definitely get to know people. Look into their core values and their patterns and their actions. Don't just hear their words. But do they keep their word? Do they keep their promises? Ask yourself that. And focus on what makes you happy, Gemini. What truly makes you happy. You may have to protect yourself when it comes to your job. Because I do see that Five of Wands energy. And because you have so many competitors. But you'll be protecting yourself with your words. So, you know, you have to really fire up your communication. And make sure, like, you really are focused on what you want and need. Okay, how you see yourself or the action that you could take is the seven of pentacles. Understand this, you're on the right track for success. You're only going to keep going and growing. Your money is just going to build. I'm seeing elevation. Your empire is just going to grow as it should. You have a lot of options and you have excellent potential. So do not hold back. I'm getting don't doubt yourself, Gemini. Now is not the time. It's never the time. Certainly not now. Don't doubt your abilities and what you're capable of. You can do this. Okay. So what's happening in your environment with people around you? Beautiful. Nine of cups. Everybody's making a wish. A lot of people are wishing for you. So you will have some options, some suitors. You will have some love interest come your way. I feel like it's more than one. But somebody is going to stand out higher than the rest. And that's your soulmate or twin flame. But you will still have some excellent prospects. I want you to make a wish too, Gemini. Because I feel like it's well deserved. Tell your family and friends and your loved ones to make a wish. Blow it out in a candle. Say a prayer. Wishes do come true. Dreams come true. God answers prayers. 
in his own mysterious way, in his own time, believe that and know that. This is amazing. You can have what you want. Manifest it. Ask for it and make that wish. I feel like there's a lot of wishes here. And they're all going to come true. Go big is what I'm hearing. Dream big. It's well deserved. You deserve it. Your friends and family deserve it. Let's look into the hopes and fears. Juggling. Hopes and or fears. So you may fear that somebody may come in and want to juggle you. You're not putting up with that type of energy. No more juggling. No more being an option when you deserve to be the priority. Okay? Also, a lot of you need to look into people a little bit deeper, Gemini. What do they bring to the table long term? Not just for right now or for a few months or a few years. I'm talking about past that. Look deeper, look farther. Okay? What do they bring to you? In the long run, you have some decisions to make and you will regarding work, regarding family, regarding love, major categories, major, major, major topics, major people. Look into everybody carefully is what I'm hearing. Look at the long-term benefits over short-term benefits. So if it's up for promotion, sorry about the car outside if you hear the noise. But um, let's say you're signing a contract for a position. Does it offer a bonus, incentives? Does it offer vacations, medical and dental benefits? Vision care. Look into the health care. Look into everything. Weigh it before you just sign on the dotted line. Does someone meet your expectations? Are they family oriented? Are you? It's time to get down to the nitty gritty and ask the questions that need to be asked. Weigh things carefully. Look at the long term benefits. Outcome, Knight of Swords. You definitely will look at those benefits and you will cut them out. Somebody's watching you from social media is what I'm hearing. But you are getting rid of what you don't need. Anybody who does not serve your highest purpose or your highest good, you're cutting them out. You will be sharp with your words. You will be very assertive and forward and to the point. Do not be aggressive. You don't have to be mean or nasty. We're not doing that. But we are using our words. We're taking the high moral ground. We're sticking to our morals and our values. Being respectful, but being very clear. If there are arguments within the family or major disagreements, you want nothing to do with that. If somebody's trying to pick an argument with you, I'm already getting like whatever's going on, it's not your fault. You're taking the high moral ground and then you're leaving the situation. You're focused on other things. You're focused on your happiness is what I'm saying, as you should be. You're like no more drama. So you have some decisions to make, Gemini, and I see you making them. I feel like love is in the air. And I feel like a lot of you want that. And that's beautiful. Okay, so for your other messages, and we have some messages to look into. And looking at these cards, now your other cards are making sense in a lot of ways. Like I'm getting more information. Okay, so let's start. Some of you may be embarking on a career change. So from the life purpose deck, it looks like that in the back, you have support. Hold your head up high. And thank your angels. It says your life purpose fully supports you. Your angels and spirit is around you. Whatever you're choosing to do, I feel like will fulfill your soul and fulfill you financially, okay? You will have the security that you're looking for. So go for it. You don't need to hold back. You're supported. Spirit's looking down on you and saying, yeah, that's the right thing to do. 
from the Love and Light deck, Gemini, you have Give Peace a Chance. It's a very beautiful card. I love when I see the angel wings. You want happiness, you want peace. And if you don't know Gemini or cross watchers, viewers, the Love and Light deck has scriptures from the Bible. So from John chapter 14, verse 27, it says, I am leaving you with a gift, peace of mind and heart. And the peace I give is a gift the world cannot give. Only God can give you this kind of peace, heavenly peace, even on earth. So you're supported. It's time for you to focus on your happiness and tranquility and cut out negativity and nonsense and anything that just doesn't serve what's good. Certainly not your good. So that has to go. You have to disassociate from some people. People come in your life for different reasons, different seasons. If they're not meant to stay, that's okay. If you have to walk away from them, that's okay. If they have to walk away from you, that is okay. You will have more peace either way. Peace is coming to you. From the Island Time Wellness deck, it looks like this. Gemini, you have a narcissistic person around you. And I believe you know who this is. This is narcissism. It says manipulation, control, infidelity, disregards boundaries, egocentric, entitlement, selfish, a rule breaker. Five of Swords energy is what you, or was it Five of Wands or Five of Swords? You all had, let me look at, uh, you have the Knight of Swords, so cutting out the drama. I'm sorry, Five of Wands. So that was the competition. Somebody in your past, I'm getting Five of Swords energy too. It didn't come out, but you had the Five of Wands. Fives can represent like jealousy and envy. So this person was jealous of you. Highly. And they just did not abide by rules of a relationship. I feel like this is romantic for most of you. Infidelity. They cheated consistently. They like to control you and what you do. And we know that's not going to happen. That can't work. They were very selfish and self-centered. They thought of themselves. Very manipulative. This person was very cold. A lot of you became guarded because of this person and how they treated you. These type of people you no longer want in your life. You want to recognize them faster and you will by looking at the red flags. Listening to your intuition. From the Sibylla deck, you have enemy. I don't see this card very often. It's like you see these people for who they are. Whatever you didn't see, the blinds are open. You're moving towards calmer, healthier, happier waters. Peaceful times. Like if you look at the enemy, the enemy is in the red. Trying to hide. But you see them. You're dressing your nice outfit. You're standing tall. You're at peace. You see them. They're trying to hide behind, I don't know if that's a building or what. They're trying to hide. Being sneaky. You can only see their eyes, just barely. But you have on a nice outfit. You look chipper, dapper. Not letting them phase you. You're getting past them, over them. Angel number 12 may be significant for you, Gemini. From the Magical Times Empowerment deck, you have gentleness. This is all about peace. A lot of your reading is about peace, Gemini. It says strength is gentle. True kindness has wings. Love in action endures. Lift others up through your kind words and your gestures is what I'm getting. Being loving and kind and not letting somebody change your heart. Don't go to the dark side. Follow the light. Being gentle and peaceful and kind and caring and loving. That's the ways of God. You put that energy out, it will come back to you. 
and it will give you peace is what I'm hearing. Be gentle. Be gentle. You're giving peace a chance. You're changing some things. This narcissistic person or people, naysayers, they were liars. That's what I'm hearing. And it's interesting because it leads me right to the twin flame journey messages. So this does not have to be just for twin flames. This can be for twin flames, soulmates. This can be for um, twin flames who... Um, already came into union could be coming into union I'm getting more this is past energy so some of you may be reuniting maybe you already know your twin flame and you're reuniting okay because that didn't make sense for a second okay it makes sense to me now so if you're reuniting with a twin flame one of the reasons why you may have separated is because they were lying it says lying was just easier for me than telling you the truth. It's sad, but that is the final truth. Sometimes the explanations we get or we hear in our mind, we want to laugh at them because they're so petty. They're so basic. But sometimes it, it is simplistic. It's simple. It's not always intricate and hard. From the twin flame and separation deck, and this could be twin flames, soulmates, married couples. This could be anybody who's ghosted each other, people who are separated and not talking or have broken up. You can be an ex, a divine masculine, divine feminine, maybe not in communication, whatever it is, it's separation. This card says, I'm still trying to find a place for myself in this world. I feel like they've lost themselves. They're trying to find out who they are. And that is the journey that most of us is on. Finding ourselves. But I feel like somewhere on the path like of their journey, they went left or they went wrong and they got lost. And it's like you elevated and you found yourself. Or at least you have more direction than they do. Because they spent time being an enemy, being a liar, being deceptive. They spent time on negativity instead of positive things. And now they're lost. But they can be found. I would say pray for them. Wish them well. They need that. From the lover's oracle deck, very beautiful deck and it's in a heart shape. Not surprised to see this. Gemini, you have twin flames. Your love, well, your love ignites, but it says your passion ignites. What came to me is your love ignites. A lot of you are coming into union with your twin flame soulmate. A lot of you are coming back into union with your twin flame soulmate. If you want to give this a chance or another chance, Spirit saying, go ahead. Because from the romance angels, you have expressed your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. This person may be taller than you. They may have a different body shape than you're used to. They may be very unique or different from what you would normally expect. But there's love here. And Spirit saying, go ahead and give it a try. If you want to, if your heart desires. I'm hearing it like somebody's soul is longing if your soul is longing for this person. And I feel like it is. A lot of you still want love. And it's a beautiful thing. Go ahead and express it. Show affection. Be tender in your words and kind. Beautiful. Twin flame soulmates. Look for the signs. I feel like you'll see them. It is a very challenging journey. I would suggest looking it up and look at several different websites so that you can really get the gist of it and formulate your own thoughts and opinions. But if it works out, it's the highest love of all when it comes to romance and romantic love. 
beautiful. I wish you all blessings with that and I hope it works out. I feel like a lot of twin flames are coming into union this year. 2020 is like a special time is what I'm hearing. Okay, so from the angels answers, I will shuffle this for Gemini for this month of August, year 2020. One more. What is the main message? I just want one spirit, one main message. sign of Gemini. Make it clear, please. Hopefully it stays on the table. <laughs> For Gemini. There it is. What do we have, Gemini? Remain positive. Beautiful. What, what a beautiful card. It's so bright and shiny. Beautiful. Just focus on that. Remain positive. Think happy thoughts. Be optimistic. Focus on what you want and what you need. Tell yourself you can have it, that you are successful, you are important. Be very clear on your intentions in life. Go forward, showing the best of you. Think on a high vibration. When people are acting in a way that you don't feel comfortable with, be the example and show them how to be a professional, how to be a class act. When people speak negative words, flip it, switch it up into something positive. Change the narrative. I love this. Remain positive. That's amazing. Okay, so the overall message of the entire reading from... My magical, I'm sorry, my magical, my earth magic deck. And this is not my, I don't own any of these decks other than I pay for my own them in that respect. But from the earth magic deck, you have full moon completion. You have learned some hard lessons. You achieved a goal. Some of you bought your first house, a new car. For some of you, this was your first new car. You had a car, but this was your first like new off the lot, same year have a car some of you had some difficult internal lessons you had to learn some deep deep intrinsic internal lessons that's what I'm hearing some of you really had to learn lessons from others by looking at yourself and how you responded to certain situations some of these lessons were spiritual either way you learn these lessons this is like a 10 for me so you started off with a 10, with the Wheel of Fortune. Now you end with a 10. This is a 10 for me. There's no numbers or Roman numerals on the Earth Magic deck, but still full moon completion means you did something hard. You achieved a goal, something major, something difficult, something very challenging. And it could be a task at work. It could be a task at home. It could be a project that you had to complete. But whatever it was, you did it. You did it with excellence. I think even you are amazed that you did it and that you could do it. Be proud of yourselves. I'm proud of you. Spirit's proud of you. Gemini, you get to celebrate now. You get to celebrate victories and wins. You did it. That's amazing. Open the door for more blessings, Gemini. They're coming. Well, Gemini, this has been your reading for the month of August, year 2020. I wish you infinite joy, blessings, and abundance. I hope you all have enjoyed this reading. I wish you an amazing remainder of the weekend. Well, it's just starting because it's really late for me. But um, we still got Saturday and Sunday. <laughs> but um, I wish you an amazing weekend and an awesome month. God bless you, Gemini. Bye, Gemini.